Hey, Bill. Uh, thanks uh, for giving me this opportunity to interview you. I appreciate it. Um, the goal is to try to keep this under 20 minutes. You think we could do that? Let's try. Okay. Okay. We're gonna, let, me, let me explain why I wanted to do this. Um, about a month ago, I got a phone call from a good friend of mine. You know him, George Kettner. And George was all excited. He was telling me about how IWOW we is reaching. They got a new comp plan, new products. And, and he was really excited. And he was going on and on. And I politely interrupted him. And I said, George, thanks, but I'm not interested. I know about IWOW we and, and I'm just not interested. And that was my, I was very polite. And he said, Guy, can you just do me one favor? Uh, before you say no, I have a video I want you to listen to or watch. And after you watch that video, if you tell me you are no longer interested in I Wow We, I will respect your decision. But can you at least, courtesy of me, watch that video? And I said, oh, absolutely. And I watched the video. It was a video that you did, Bill, back in December. It was one of your leadership calls. And it was a long video. It was about over an hour and a half. And I sat through that video. And Bill, I want you to know I've been on the search for a network marketing company. I've been in this industry for a long time and I had a lot of companies disappoint me. Going out of business with poor management, bad products, comp whatever the, the reason for it, I lost the opportunity. I would wake up the next day and for making pretty good income, I was unemployed. And it happened too many times. So I was on a search. I was determined to find a company where it had everything in place, management, the products, a growth industry which you have. Uh, a leader in the industry, compensation plan, but a company where I can build a company within a company, a company that I know is not only going to be there for the next couple of years, but the next couple of decades. And, and when I watched your leadership call, and I saw the passion you had, and you went over the comp plan, the new products, and you talked about the infrastructure, and everything that I, while we has in place, the, the, the money behind it, um, I got blown away, and, and I saw everything that I wanted to see that I was looking for, and I, I'm hoping that from this video, this 15, 20-minute video, I can accomplish for other people what was accomplished for me from that hour and a half bishop call. So when someone talks to me about I Wow We, I'm introducing someone to I Wow We, because you see, I thought I knew I Wow We, but after watching your, your, your leadership call, I realized I didn't know about I Wow We. I knew of it, but I didn't really know it. And when I came away from that, after that leadership call, and now I've been in the company a while and watched a lot of the videos that's been online, I now understand the opportunities in front of me. And I would hate like heck if I'm talking with someone and they say no to me like I said no to, to, no to George. And I want, I'm hoping that maybe this video, if someone gives me the courtesy to this video we're doing right now, they'll say, wow, this thing is awesome. The company has everything in place to, for, you know, to build you know, the kind of income that we're looking to build. Not 5,000, 1,000, 1,000, but 20 and 30. And the only way you could get to that type of income is if a company long enough where the magic of the multiples start working for you, the magic of compounding. And unfortunately, companies don't yeah. last long enough for us to have that magic of compounding working for us so we can get to those 10, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 a month incomes. So having said that, <laughs> why should a person join iWe? Why should we trust you, why should we trust I Wow We? And I want to cover four categories: uh, company, leadership, management, products in the industry. Uh, I want to cover compensation plan. I want to cover your overall vision. So let's start with leadership, because obviously you have everything else in place, but if there's poor leadership in the company, things are going to happen bad. So let's start with that. Why should we trust I Wow We? You know, it's uh, yeah. This is pretty. Uh, this is a great conversation. And I, I've got to focus on coming right to the point, or we're going to be here another hour and a half. And it's because it's such a great conversation. But uh, you know, I, I live in the Woodlands, Texas. I live in a great area, and I've got some wonderful friendships. This is the heartbeat of really of the technology uh, center of the of the known universe. It, being candid with you, uh, there was a guy here back uh, a number of years ago. That, uh, that worked at Texas Instruments. I think most people that watch this video know the company. They made calculators primarily, and that was what they're well known for. And, and uh, there was an engineer that worked there. Yeah, and they, uh, they worked, uh, engineer that worked there, and uh, his name was Rod. And anyway, Rod is a, is a good friend of mine today, and it was in my neighborhood, and we play, uh, we have the opportunity to play golf on a regular basis and touch base. But anyway, uh, Rod, uh, uh, 
taking this journey back to the start of, of uh, technology, IBM had developed a patent on a personal computer. If you remember, they had Big Bertha, the whole room with the, roll, the, the wheels were rolling, the tape rolls, the whole bit. And they had developed and patented the personal computer, the PC. But they did a two-year study, and they concluded that no one would ever purchase uh, a PC for their home or personal use, that there was no viable market. And you know, keep in mind, there was no internet, there was no, there no, there was no operating platforms, there was no, none of these things in place. And uh, they sold that patent to a company called Texas Instruments. And after six months, Texas Instruments concluded, in fact, that IBM was correct. And, uh, uh, and they, they uh, abandoned the project, and Rod put in uh, a request for that patent, and he was given the patent uh, to the personal computer. I want to take him a few years later, and I think it's just relevant to this story, sitting in the, in the uh, Palmer Golf Course here, which is in my neighborhood in the Woodlands, and uh, just finished playing some golf and connected with lunch for, with Rod and his brother Jim. And, and uh, we were sitting there talking, and Rod got a phone call and talked to a man for a few moments on his cell and then uh, said, hey, would you say hi to a friend of mine? I think he'd really appreciate uh, just, uh, just a short introduction. And he handed me his cell phone. And the man on the other side of the line said to me, uh, you know, Bill, I don't know how much you know about that man sitting across the table from you, but let me share with you my personal experience with him. And he said, you know, when I was a young man, he flew me down to his house. He lived up in North, North, uh, North Houston, just uh, off a road called FM 1960. And, and uh, he, uh, I flew down there and spent a week with him. I slept in his son's little twin bed while his two kids were at school. Uh, we would work at his home there in his dining room table, just a small, small rambler home and a uh, little three-bedroom. And, and then when the kids would come home at night, we'd go down to the local Denny's there on FM 1960, by the way, which is still there today. And... And we worked this out, and after I, he worked with me for a whole week, I conveyed an idea of, of developing an operating system. And anyway, I was uh, uh, I had abandoned. I'd worked on it, but when IBM abandoned the PC project, I had abandoned it, and I'd gone to work on a, developing a uh, an accounting software for for a computer. And and uh, so Rod was working with me to to come back to this. And anyway, I flew home on, and I called him back when I got home, and. And just shared with him that I would be willing to go down that road and 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 uh, develop that application. And I want you to know this is the man on the phone talking to me. Said I want you to know that I owe everything uh, in my company, my business, my the success I've experienced in life. I owe it to that man sitting across the table from you. And uh, that man, of course, across the table from me is Rod Canyon. And Rod Canyon, he had to work real hard. He struggled to even find some investors that would even pull together to fund his idea to build a company that would sell computers, personal computers. And uh, it took him a while to put it together, but he put it together and he launched a company called Compact Computers. You can Google him, Rodney Canyon. And he became, uh, he made more money in his first year of business than any other businessman in the history of planet Earth. And that includes Google or Facebook or anybody else. Uh, that record still stands today. He's an extraordinary man. You see, in that time, there was the Cold War going on. We, there was no trade with China. There was no infrastructure. And when Rodney... Rodney's one of the men that's changed the world we live in today. And understand that that guy had to go through, in, in, when you talk about literally breaking every record for income in first year business, you realize the, the, the legals and the structures and the, and, the, and the lobbyists and all the things that didn't even exist in the time in that day to build manufacturing. You know, because today, if you think of the modern computer, you know, Compaq became, uh, ultimately became HP. HP became, I believe, it for a time, a season, the second largest company on planet Earth. It's no longer that status today, but but it became something that changed the whole world through Rodney Canyon because they had to build the they had to build uh, agreements for trade. You see, even though it was a, there was the Cold War, Russia bought uh, hundreds of thousands of computers, and so did China. So did the whole world, every regime out there, and it changed the way the world had to drop barriers. And of course, we say today. The world is getting to be a smaller and smaller community. And, and today we have trade happening, interacting around the world. Well, it really started. The man that made things happen is a guy named Rob Canyon. Now, another guy uh, that's involved in this uh, project is uh, my neighbor, Dick Conrad. And he's a dear friend of mine. And, uh, in fact, Dick is my uh, – I, uh, I have six children. I've got uh, married. I'm a grandfather and, and uh, a number of them in college. And 
but I have a I have a young child, a baby of the of the bunch, and that's Brianna, and she's ten years old. And Brianna it happens to be uh, Dick Dick Conrad considers Brianna his best friend. They talk uh, they talk uh, all all the time, all throughout the week. And uh, so Dick is my next friend. Well, Dick Conrad played a played a major part in changing that world. Dick Conrad, if you go to PhD level books on uh, manufacturing processes and, and acquisitions, you'll find Dick Conrad's name laced throughout all of those books because. Dick is somewhat of a Henry Ford that developed the flow and manufacturing processes and integrations uh, uh, for the, the, the mass production of computers. And so the manufacturing plants were all designed and, and developed and, and, and oversaw by Dick Conrad all through Asia and uh, Asia, Europe. And, and, and he changed, in effect, today. Let's bring it clear up. Even though Dick Conrad did a golden parachute, it seems almost a lifetime ago. Uh, he also helped another company and took a second golden parachute from Dell Computers, the third largest computer manufacturer in the world today. And and so Dick Dick uh, Dick is also a part of the investment team here at, at IWOWE and on my board of advisors and, and just a great friend. He's more than just that; he's a friend. And uh, and likewise with the Canyon family, the Canyons we've we've done holidays things, go vacations together. These are my uh, these are close. This is a close knit community that we're we're talking about here. We talk about the ability. Now, these are guys that understand international laws, international trade, international. They, they've been places in business that few few people in the world have been. They've been all the way to the top of, of Wall Street. They understand stock and laws and legals and aspirate. They There's not hardly anything that they can't imagine, as you can see. What is the leadership capabilities of Huawei? Well, the truth is it's 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 not even a it's, – it's almost absurd to, to question the – uh, from an MLM filter, uh, you know, the, uh, a home-based business for mom, pause, and people from regardless of your race, creed, color, academic background, or business experience, you can come in and say, now, hold it, does this work? It, it's almost a, man, you talk about overkill, uh, there's nothing else like it. it it's just so extraordinary. It's, a, it's such a golden moment, such a single moment in time. Of course, we talk a lot about those only, only a few times in life. Is there ever that moment? And of course, I feel very honored to be a part of that moment. Um, now, another guy came on, Michael Stewart. Michael Stewart was a guy that invented, uh, he was the guy that built the original infrastructures and design for what became the Blade servers, which was patented uh, uh, through IBM and became mainly IBM's main stable product uh, that, that almost every operation in the world, including this broadcast today, is, is being operated from a Blade server. And, and Michael Stewart is that guy, well, he also developed is an engineer, developing engineer, developed the microprocessing chip that measures the flow of gas in a, in, a, in a pipeline. And he needed that chip built, and he helped some other guys start a company to help manufacture. And he taught the first several thousand employees how to manufacture the chips uh, of that company. And that, that little company helped get going just to manufacture his product. They called it Intel. I think most of your most of the viewers of this would, would know who we're talking about. And so you talk about extraordinary companies that have changed and still change and continue to change the world we live in today and have their influence uh, that have employed hundreds of thousands of people uh, of W2 type employees around the world and built infrastructure that, again, that we all enjoy and impact our lives today. There's not a person watching this that those products and their, and their, their life don't touch it. Now, that's a little bit about leadership and the side of this company that's influencing. Now, now internally, in the day-to-day -day operations, we've looked at the same thing. You're only as good as the people you brought on. We went on. We got uh, our uh, our uh, the the commander in chief over on the IT side of our of our building. Michael Nolan was the reporting directly to the CEO of ADP Payroll Services, one of the largest companies in the world. Handles probably more cash than just about any because you know they, they do the payroll and and all those things, uh, plans as far as benefits, all that for many of the Fortune companies in the in the world today. And ADP, he was the director of R&D over there, and he reported directly to the technology council, directly to the CEO worldwide of ADP, and had underneath his umbrella a footprint that's extraordinary. He's one of the top 50 R&D managers in the world today, and he's our CTO here at Wowee. He brought in a team of people on his side of the house in management. Uh, the first one he brought in was a, was a guy that was just extraordinary, all, all by himself, that, that I just am so honored to work with. And... He's uh, the president of a think tank of, of some of the smartest uh, middle-tier developers in technology in the world. They, there's a grant here in Houston that was founded, actually, by, of all people, uh, by uh, Rodney Canyon. And, he, and they've been pulling these things together for many, many years. They come in and they vote from among the 200 
the brightest minds in the world. They vote among themselves a president, and of course, uh, our guy uh, Jake Stevens was voted by his peers to be the president of this think tank. And uh, Mike went after him, wanted to get somebody to really be our middle tier manager, our database uh, uh, director, and he went after him. And Jake, Jake is well known. He was named uh, uh, the app developer of the year. His app that he developed uh, is the number one uh, number one app in the world today. And it took off like crazy. It was a little social media company out in California. It had a great concept, web-based, pretty good solid piece platform. He developed an app application for it. It took off like crazy. I think most of you know about it. It's called Twitter. Uh, you know, he draw twit pics and twit this and twit that. And his apps are, uh, again, they, they become legendary. Very few people have ever been named uh, app developer of the year. These are typically uh, titles that are won by major global companies. And so Jake's here in our building, right along his offices next to Mike's. And we just keep right on going down the line. Uh, you know, we have 12 people with resumes that would shock that any one of those resumes would be an honor to even have a, a, a rare extended association with. So then on, on the operation side of the house, we brought in the president of the company and and it was just, it was such a thrill that we could find somebody that, that had, had been worked in a, in a Fortune 50 company environment, had been involved in, in three different startups that went to an acquisition of mergers in the hundreds of millions, uh, one of them into the billions. And that man was actually the lead man and, and architect uh, uh, manager over the uh, development of the, Chir uh, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Uh, obviously, uh, you talk about complexity. Uh, so you begin to look at our management skill sets in the house that are here, uh, it's, it's amazing. Our, our Microsoft, our Microsoft public facing side manager, Richard Bateman, he's been a part of uh, Microsoft every single Windows and SQL rollout since the inception of Microsoft. Is one of the top people in the country today at top tier trainers uh, for Microsoft platforms and advanced systems. And, and he's in our building today. And so these are the kinds of people that we have uh, that when we lean upon those things from an operation side, Everybody in here has worked for, uh, you know, multi-billion at the highest executive levels of multi-billion dollar companies. And so, again, what a privilege I have to have been a part of pulling this together. So that was lengthy, but I think it gave those of you who have taken a few moments of your time to look and see uh, in a brief sentence uh, who, what makes up Wow We. I, I think you can tell that we're, we're, a, we're a serious company, and we're, uh, we're here to, we're one of the top three leading developers today in the world of, of uh streaming video communication systems, and of course some of the people that we brought on board for development side, uh, there's, some, there's some guys that, we, that we were, Mike was able to, to bring on board that were directly involved in developing the very protocols that allow mobile phones to have uh, uh, web access, the very, the, very, the very protocols that make it possible for a smartphone. I don't care whether it's Droid, Apple, the whole entire infrastructure, they were a part of that. Named Developers of the Year by India, by the nation of any of themselves. Extraordinary. Working exclusively for Wow We, uh, those four men. We got guys, a lot of you guys have heard of a, uh, a company called Netflix that, that downloads a movie, uh, digital movies into your, your own home. The, the process to be able to pull that off is the complexity of that is unprecedented. And, uh, and we were able to get those three guys that led that project in developing that platform. And we were able to bring them in-house here with uh, our team. And then I, then I could go on to, you know, another, another project. There's, uh, uh, you know, one after another. Again, I'm only what? I'm up to like six guys out of the 12. And, and you know, so I better, I better just call it good there. And let's go to another question, Guy. Or we're gonna, this could be back to our hour and a half. Well, I got I to gotta skip about 12 questions because you covered a lot. You covered pretty much the products, the industry. We talk, cover the products, but definitely the industry. Uh, um, uh, I tell you, Lee, we're in a growth industry. I, our products right now is email, video email marketing, video conferencing. I understand you have a couple, you just came out with a brand new broadcast product. Briefly touch on that and touch about some of the products that are in the works. I know you were excited this afternoon when we were talking and um, you actually got me excited. But again, as short as possible, real quickly uh, product line what's coming out and uh, and why people should be really excited as far as a breakthrough when it comes to making me in business well when we started this company there was no YouTube when I the when I sat up there at the the golf course and I with a couple of my friends and and uh, I sat down with them and I started saying listen guys I'm convinced I had some old flip phone at the time with my texting was 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 running rate 
but I uh, I said you know what I'm convinced that they're gonna they're, the, the technology is going to continue to move rapidly towards uh, having web uh, uh, web access via the cell phone it didn't even exist then there was no YouTube there was no streaming video on the internet uh, there was there was just publicly available and and I go you know I'm convinced this entire thing is going to go this way let's and that was where I formed my initial uh, premise to say let's move forward here and so like this platform we're recording on right now. This platform was not designed to just be another conferencing platform, another another Cisco's WebEx, or you know that's not the that was not the whole point. The point was having something that I could be driving down the road and put this phone in a cradle up there on my dash and be having this recording going on while I'm driving down the road, but not just a recording dialoguing back and forth here, but the ability to say communicate, let's say I had a meeting with 200 people and I wanted to communicate, to literally be able to hit that and broadcast live from a mobile environment and that's what we built. The platform we're using right now is the efforts, is the fruit of that efforts in a web-based format. Now, by uh, over the next few months, we're going to continue to go there. Now, we have video email, like for instance, this has a, a recording capability on it. Just record button. But we've integrated that. You see all the other platforms. You can move it to YouTube. You can move it here, move it there, which is just a public kind of scenario. you got to drive someone to YouTube. But can you imagine the power of being able to right there and when we're dialoguing and say, listen, let me shoot this meeting to you, and I hit the record button, but then I have it already structured underneath a single app icon that I can send that and just and it, it, send it in a video email directly to your inbox, secure, private, from me to you or to whoever I want to send it to in whatever format I want to do. And, and it all being completely integrated into one simple component. Now, the complexity, like you take video email. Honestly, that's one of the most profound and important components out there that is overlooked in, in, the, in, in the systems and like, say, wow, we. Because we're always looking at these very complex things. But, but actually, let's just talk about the art of communication. Texting, texting has about a 1% to 3% response rate. And... Uh, you know, whereas if I could just get you, let's say, in a business man, I don't care what business you're in. Let's say you sell, you sell, uh, you sell tires, at, and you want to send out a, a, an email. Well, if I could show you how to move from three percent effectiveness, the high side of texting, to six percent with no additional cost to you, uh, for you not to do that as a businessman is almost incomprehensible on, from my perspective. That you would be so. Um, uh, uh, apathetic to engage in doing your business in a, in a way that would help you to prosper. I, I just don't understand it. Well, this is the incredible part. There's major university studies out there uh, and think tanks that have found that videos, if you attach a video, like put a YouTube video in your text email, just a link to it, that it increases the response rate up to around uh, 17%. That's amazing. That's incredible. It's not from 3 to 6, it's to 17 but even more profound, if you send them a video email that is wrapped in a graphic and an image is there that's recognizable with something, it doesn't matter what it is. Even though maybe none of you on this right now that are watching, maybe the person watching this isn't even interested in tires. However, it's amazing human nature that, that we'll just hit the play button. And, and that has hit over 52% of every person who receives one in their inbox will play it. And now, what's interesting, if it's under 90 seconds in length, over 80% will be viewed in their entirety. You talk, I don't care if you're just trying to pull a few people together to go play baseball this Sunday, or have a barbecue, or, or you know, go for a bike ride on Wednesday morning before work. Uh, to not involve that level of effective communication is just absurd. And so, it's so powerful in our lives, what we have to be able to do and understand that, how human beings interact with each other. It's, it's incredible. So... That's part of Wowie's package, but now let's take the future of that, which is what you asked me about. Yes. Is let's let's throw that into a let's throw a couple of components. But by the way, we've built a, a banner ad component. Now banner ads pretty complex kind of deal, but we simplified it. We have a very complex system and it automatically has the, the backlinks that come back to wherever you want, wherever you want to send it. It's all part of our Wowie package today. And we also have, you know, autoresponders. So you can put up a banner ad and then have a an autoresponder that responds back, someone clicks on it, and they get a video from you. You can set up those campaigns by dates, calendars, have them get one every one week, three weeks. So we have a calendar so you can schedule that autoresponder. It's very, it's very incredible. But what if we put something together like in the future and we maybe gave you a, 
a website and it already had, had a lead capture page. And in fact, what if we built in the automated side? See, blogging is exploding right now. Everyone's wondering because they're learning that blogging is far more effective than Facebook, than Twitter, than these social media environments. That blogging, the the art and understand, but it's very complex because you got to have backlinks, all this stuff. Well, can you imagine if that was all part of the incorporated component, and we could drive to you a thousand uh, thousand leads a day, and it's just kind of autoplay. And I like, of course, I'm a pilot. I love flying, and and uh, so I guess the term autopilot would be good. And and I one of my guys here and said in the, in the place he goes, man, this is that knows the full details. I'm not going to tell you the details on this conference. I'm just giving you a little taste. But uh, it's kind of like uh, you store on autopilot. Can you imagine a thousand, uh, you know, a unique individual visitors being driven to your whatever it is you're trying to promote? Uh, I don't care whether it's tires or restaurant or whatever. It's in. It's the whole world's about to change. And that drives through to your income. We use autoplay, autopilot, auto retire. Now, Bill, this is you said. This is the one that you want to introduce at a conference or convention. You said maybe July, August. That's the product you were talking about, and you it was happy. Yeah, yeah. And a whole lot more that goes to this. You I just touched the surface. I just gave you a little taste. Because this afternoon you were pretty giddy about it. And uh, by the way, that's a major claim you just made. You know that can, you could really hold up to that claim. What you just said. That's I'm good with that claim. I'm okay. good with it. All right, very I'm good. good with it. It's going to shock everybody. All right, listen, we got to move quick because I think in our 20-minute mark, let's get to the comp plan and we'll just close out the meeting with some your vision. But just to highlight, we don't go to any specifics, but I need people need to know okay. your passion about getting people to ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month as much as possible, and and you're being very generous as a company. P percentage payout. Uh, some of the bonuses you got, some of the strategy you have to get money in people's pockets quickly, thinking about the new person joining, just go ahead and, and give me it five minutes, okay? <laughs> All right. You got it. Okay. Did five you minutes. say 10? I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty simple. It, it really is. It's not nearly as complex a conversation so many to realize from my side. Uh, you know, the, we've been around the industry for a long time. I mean, it's not hard. There's, you can go look at the best success stories out there. The short-lived ones, uh, it was a sky biz a few years ago that had a wonderful run, created some millionaires overnight. Uh, there's, there's, been, there's been all kinds of little things along the way you could look at and say, well, they were there, but then they were gone, as you mentioned, Guy. And, uh, and then there's been those, those Herbalifes and New Skins and Mel Lucas and Amways and, you know, these, these legendary pillar companies that have been around. And then we see these come out of nowhere that, that build a legacy company, and, like a Mona V. And, uh, a noni juice, and you know, you see some of these they, they kind of catch off guard all the way down to uh, Zeke Rewards that they kind of showed up on the scene and took the world by surprise and then was gone. Uh, we can sit back. Uh, I have a legal team that works for me. I've had an attorney uh, on staff for many, many years in, in my real estate investment side of the house. And, and so we can sit back from a legal point of view, from consultants, and look at all these things and say, listen, what if we we see which ones drove the market that that really candidly they could have been selling canned air and and then and then never delivered the canned air and they and they grew to be some of the biggest companies out there we refer to those as as scams you know a bit on the slimier side but but nonetheless we see that kind of explosion you just you know, scratch your head and go man how'd that happen well it, it happened because of a of the right comp plan the right package the right pitch and and so I've sat back, I think like in many of you, and Guy, even you, has said this, like, I want to be a part of a company that's going to be here. Well, while we as an IT company, we, we aren't developing just for today. We're developing, you can hear the team I put together, guys. This, I didn't even, I didn't even give you, I just kind of cracked the door and let you see a little peek inside. You have no clue how serious we are about being a multi-generational company. The infrastructure, the investment, the capital investment, the data center, the data center infrastructure worldwide is already in place. The communication systems, just our design of our platform, uh, you know, uh, on just some of the basic components, over $20 million, for instance, invested in just the architecture of this platform that we're on right now. Incredible resources. We're just getting started. That wasn't for the humor or the fun of it. It's because we know where we're headed. We're here to be here long term. Now, we're an IT company and a leader in our, in our component now, but when it comes to marketing, if we could take that perfect, that perfect, uh, that company that's got that management, 
and if, if we just took the time to think this through and got the comp plan, and, and here's where I finally sent down some consultants, because they all frustrated. All these consultants that we hired, which we spent almost a million dollars now on consultants, every one of them are trying to show me how to make more money, have people feel like they're going to make more, but us make more. You know, have what they call breakage or gotchas. And I'm like, get out of my house. I don't even want you in my building. You missed the whole point. I, I'd sit down and if I said, listen, here's what I want to do. I want to have, I want to put together the comp plan that will honestly pay people more, not perceived pay more, that will honestly pay more than any anything that's come to the street, come to the market in the last 20, 30, 40 years, regardless what is the fastest, strongest moving thing that takes care of people? Because if our salesman, I, and I said, I'm going to do something very different. I have the capital to do it. We're not needing to line the coffins of, uh, or the coppers of, of this company or build some marble cathedral that, with our name on the top of it. That's not the goal. Uh, I'm an investor. My partners are investors. This is, this is not a take out of the company and buy a better car. This is how can we spend uh, a considerable amount of money that's uh, reasonable and intelligent and put together something that will become a global company for generations and yield that return back over time, amortize correctly as a business and not just a get rich scheme. And so we looked at this thing and we committed to being able to pay out more than anybody because it's a smart, prudent thing because of this. I think, Guy, if there's people here that have never made over $500 or $1,000 that we can get them to 5000 or 10000 you know what, that works, it's going to change communities, it's going to change, it's going to change the dignity and respect when people look and say, now what are you selling? Oh my goodness, that's a, that's a, that's a quality product. It's not just canned air that, that never ultimately even gets delivered. It's not that. We're the lowest priced product in our market space for the complexity of our tool. There's no better value, period. And of course, our future, we haven't even got, we haven't even got around it, you know, letting the dog loose yet. But, but in that, so we worked hard to put this comp plan together without gotchas as an example. All binaries, they have a term called creep. So what they do is they put a cap on your weekly earning capabilities. Well, we looked at this thing. Again, as investors, creep means that the company begins to pay out over time. They start off paying about 35, 37, then it creeps up to 45, 55%. As more and more people hit the binary, and then it can get to 50, 60, and then they've got to hire consultants to come in and show them how to change the comp plan and get it back down to 35% payout. I went, well, let's design this thing to start right off out of the hole at 65, 70%. Let's let this thing creep on up towards 80 or 90. Let's do it. Let's do it so we really can give people a real shot at, uh, at winning without any of those kind of things. So you'll notice our comp plan, first off, doesn't have a creep cap. <laughs> That's well, well said, too, a creep cap. That. Didn't have one. You know, and, and so it doesn't, it's not even there. Um, I was looking at some of our competitors. You know, there's one company that's got 35000 a week cap. Now it's got, the highest one I saw recently was 65000 a week. We actually have a position in our company that can earn, actually earn $250,000 a week just to get to the title. That's so far beyond everybody else's cap. It's unheard of. And so, so that's where we're taking our people. We're going to give everybody a road path to success. So if a person has a heart, want to come in, go to work, and see the real power of what the whole industry was built for, why it was formed initially, and the design of it before all these hundred companies a day were being launched, we're here to do that. And that's our goal. I think in the end of the day, I think paying out more, I think more people are going to come and we're going to win bigger. And I'm rolling the dice on I believe I believe in that human spirit that way. So right now, I get a kick so up right now, when they say they're paying out up to 40%, up to 60%. You're committed to paying out 74 cents on every dollar that comes in. Is that correct? That's, right That's correct. That's the base. The base, actually, we've got it figured out. It's right around 76 cents, just to be accurate. We we re re the numbers and stuff. 76 cents on every dollar right up front. Now, we have a title, though, that's not included in that because not everyone will get to the top title and the whole company won't be on that person. But we actually have a position that gets to 97%. You, you talk about being true partners with our, our position in the field. It's extraordinary. So sorry about that. That's okay. The magic of the mobile. You, want, you, you want, can't be there, be there. Yeah. Okay, uh, just touch quickly okay. on the quick uh, hands bonuses and the, some of the incentives you have, and then, then we'll just close out the meeting. Okay. How's the interview? You got it. Well, I think, I think you know, right off the bat, getting started. 
that's the whole thing. How do we move this thing? How do we get this whole wheel? Because it's all about the foundation team. Well, the first thing you do, and of course, uh, is you get yourself qualified. One in your right, one in your left. It's just that easy. And you're qualified. There's no more qualifications past that. Now, we got one title above this. It's called the director. Now, a director is someone that has uh, an, a qualified affiliate, one qualified affiliate on his right leg, and one qualified affiliate on his left leg. Other than that, you can go all the way to the top of this company without a single additional catch. Not a single thing. That's it. Now, that director position, though, that is the foundation of the whole of the whole concept of network marketing. It's not about hiring the big and the mighty and the powerful. It's the average individual uh, that has maybe an, an extra extra little zing in their step that says, I want to be somebody. I, I have a dream. I have a passion. But, you know, and so we want to open that door to the world. And, uh, and so everyone can do that. I can get one on my left, one on my right. It may not be easy for everybody, but they can do it and help that person do that. Now, by doing that, so we're going to, if you'll do that in the first 30 days, let's accelerate this because the one thing we can do, it's very simple, but let's accelerate it. Let's compress time. So if you can get to the director in your first 30 days, not only will we pay you, by the way, on a $195 product that is less than half of the competitors, includes everything. In fact, there's some product packages out there I saw one the other day that's over $700 that, that, that we have the same feature sets in our 195 and the benefits. And so you look at you look at that and you go on $195 and gets everything when we pay a $50 upfront commission right off out of that's 25% of the entire sale price. It's over 25%. Uh, to the commission of the person doing it, that new person. So now you get that going. Well, right there, just getting qualified, we got a hundred dollar bonus in there. Now, if you sponsor four people in your any given month. Uh, you make the Eagle Club, and that's another $100 bonus. So you can win that as many times as you like. But if a person will just come in, get started, just get that goal, I'm going to hit director, you can win that bonus, the Eagle bonus, make $500 right off. The, just I mean, And you set a foundation to let the thing run away. Now, we want to make a director making machine. You want to have a roadmap to go all the way to the top. Let's talk about a car bonus. That would be the next step here. Let's just talk about a national director. An international director of our company. We have a few titles, and in a in a in a in a dual team or a binary type model, they look at cycles. You know, it's winning time. And by the way, we're a one 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 on your left, one on your right. You get a check. Awesome. And awesome. and so you know, cycle on one one. Well, when you do that, you, you're you're cycling. If you get up to twenty cycles a week, which is a very low level, our competitors. I can think of four or five companies right now that are between 50, 60 cycles, maybe 70 cycles a week, and you can get an entry-level car bonus. That's it. Just a, and you're done. And that's, a, I, I think, three companies that come to my mind that have a $600 a month car bonus at, uh, at 50 or 60 or 70 cycles. We, the people who need a car are the people that are struggling on the money side. We dropped that all the way down to 20 cycles. It's unheard of. It's unheard of. First off, we're already the highest paying comp plan out there. We pay more just the cycle. We never did another thing. We have the top. We we pay just the cycles. Pay more than everybody else's complete bonus packages put together. Now, when you do that and you put a car in there, well, we don't just stop there. When you get up to the next level, we'll increase that car to a thousand dollars a month, and then you get to the next level, we'll go to three thousand dollars a month, and and you're just going like, hold it, who are these guys? We are, we are really working for the people. We don't do gotchas where you got to buy a silver Mercedes or a, or a black Beamer. Buy what you want to buy. I, you may want a minivan. Buy one. You may want a motor scooter if you live in, if you live in, in, the, in the Philippines. I mean, buy what you want to buy. That's what we're for. We're here for you to win. It's your award. You've achieved it. We're grateful. And uh, so, But now go on to the top. I want to take this one. Here's a shocker. And it's not some far-reaching deal. I thought about this. I knew pretty well. I live in a beautiful home. I, I have a, a couple of other beautiful homes. I have a lake home. I have, I have some wonderful things that I enjoy in my life. I decided to do this. When you reach our top level, which is obtainable by everybody, when you reach that, I am going to give you, while we is going to purchase or pay off a two and a half million dollar home for you. It's yours. I think you misspoke. You talk so about a game changer. You talk about a game changer. That I mean, think about that. 
Like God, like you said, you're tired when you start off this thing. You've gone from this guy, this guy. There's a reason for you to stay as well. What if it takes three to five years? I who cares? What if it takes ten years? I I mean, I mean, I have a buddy of mine that worked at the railroad for 32 years, and they gave him a nice watch at the end of 32 years. You know, I tell you, there's this is real, and we're going to do it. We're going to celebrate it. We hope to give away hundreds of those homes. And so this is believable. Two and a half million. Two and a half. Two and a half million. Not a not a two hundred thousand. In fact, in fact, one of our competitors, one of our competitors has a one time ten thousand dollar bonus at this level. I mean, I'm telling you, when I said we're like a little different, we're not a little different. It's exciting. I'm committed. I'm all in. Let's bring the talent. Let's reward them. Let's say thank you because we, as a company, we want to be global. We want to be the largest in our space. You know, we got some big players out there. This industry, four years ago, did about $5 billion annually. Then overnight, it went to $20 billion. Last year, it cracked $100 billion. Do you realize if we, who's one of the top three leading developers in this space, who's got a team that's, that's unprecedented and underneath a single roof, that if we just crack 1% of that market, do you realize that's a billion-dollar deal? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, 1%. I'm a dismal failure as a leader and point man in this company. And so you know what? When you're paying out 74% on the base concept model and you're building a roadmap for everybody to go step by step to the top and change their lives, and we're going to be here tomorrow so you do the job, you know, it's an exciting deal. So there's, there's, there's a little bit from my heartbeat on, a, on the comp plan. Bill, I was going to ask you to give a closing well, statement. You, uh, you, if you want to just say one of them, I'll let you just close out the meeting. It's all totally yours. Just close it out. And, uh, just close it out. That's it. Well, this is my ninth a ninth close <laughs> in the meeting <laughs> in our seven minute video. Uh, you know, I appreciate I appreciate. It. We've got a great family here at Wowie. I think the, the one thing I want to say to you is, we as a company from the top down, we're here for one thing as a company. I'm the CEO of this company. I'm the I'm a majority shareholder, and I control the company, the direction. I have wonderful friends, partners that I listen to every word they say, and uh, and they're a part of that in an inter integral way. But but in this, I have one agenda, and that is to make a difference in the world. There's got to be a higher. Uh, I am 100% committed to the idea of free enterprise, and it's 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 been the, all that is good in the world has been driven by the concept of of the marketplace of free enterprise. And I'm definitely that guy that wants you and believes that every door, we want to open every door for the person that has some passion in their heart and it's their right time in life um, that they can go on and they can achieve their dreams. And we don't want them to go anywhere else. They don't need to go anywhere else. We want to make sure that we've done our job at we to earn the right and create the path uh, for that relationship to happen. And by saying that, making a difference, I believe that there's a higher purpose in business than just dollars. It's very important that the modern dollars, obviously we're putting together a comp plan. It's about dollars. It's about your bottom line. And, but it's about a bottom line, but the inside of that is that success comes in life. There's a higher purpose. And as well, we, as the, as the point man, I am absolutely committed. There's a reason our comp plan is the highest paying. Because we need leaders. We need the best and the brightest to come. People who know how to bring thousands and tens of thousands to the company. Because what it gives us the opportunity to do is go out there and touch the people that, that all around the world where the average income is 100 200 300 U.S. dollars a month. And yet a Big Mac is the cost of Big Mac. Half of them don't even have a car, and they walk five miles one way to work. And we have an opportunity to change the world. We're in 103 countries right now, and it's, it's extraordinary that we're paying people in 103 countries today. And, and that makes an unprecedented opportunity for all of you. But that's our part. You're becoming part of a family that's doing something, that's doing something significant. Not, and I don't mean by just lip service or, you know, or showing up and giving something to goodwill. We're building homes. We're we're doing things. We have over 4,000 children we watch out for. Two two orphanages that we cover the entire expense of for thousands of children. And and this is this is the heartbeat of while we, and it's a higher purpose to go out and make something well. The key is, it's not about giving to charities and supporting children. That's our responsibility to all of us. It is. And all of us are going to sleep better doing that, and being a part of that. But the thing that's that's even more important is teaching someone to fish. That's that total belief level of free enterprise. I can give them a fish, but what they really need is they need you and I to go teach them the fish. And that's why I'm paying, offering the highest commission structure that I've ever seen in this industry period from bar none. It's about winning and winning big. But more important, when we win big, we're going to be teaching a lot of people to fish, and we can change a lot of lives forever. 
And uh, that's that's my closing statement. And I appreciate you. We have an amazing family here. Some of the best people I've ever worked with. And I, I consider it an honor every day. I really do. I consider it an honor to not only work with the people in this office that I'm surrounded by. I never dreamed that I'd be with these kind of folks. But the folks out in the field that are our partners that are promoting our message, uh, that's, that's what's important. You're respected. One thing you're going to get here is respect, dignity, honor, and above all, gratefulness from us from the top down. So there's my close. Thank you, guys.